never mind, that wasn't the garage, that was um, the dryer. I have, since it's dark outside, I keep thinking it's five, but it's actually just three. So, anyways, <laughs> so when they got on the train, and I mean, I thought the whole PETA thing was, you know, sweet, and that he helped her. I would have never thought that he liked her, though. I never really, I don't know how I didn't grasp that, but I didn't, what was I thinking during that? Um, I thought that he was just trying to be nice. Um, I mean, I knew he was positive, but it was just the fact that he was taking that spot of Gale. I was kind of pissed off. Um, I didn't really, I didn't even know what to expect. I really didn't. And the reaping with Prim, and I, I love how through the series, Prim grows up and you see how much it, that the Hunger Games isn't just affecting Katniss and Peeta and you know the people involved with it it's actually affecting all the other people around it and the citizens and how much every single person grows up and um, so Prim was I didn't think much about Prim or her mom then I kinda thought her mom was kinda pathetic in the first one because she's just totally heartbroken. I got it. And I thought Katniss was a little too harsh on her and I didn't really fully understand it. But I mean, we no one really understands what she was through having to, um, you know, fight for her family to get her food for everyone. And so I understand now why she was so pissed at her. But um, I didn't, I kind of was, I thought Katniss was really hostile, which I mean, through the whole books, we know she is, sort of, but people just don't understand her. And, like, how Hamish, <laughs> Hamish, I love Hamish, like, so much. And then I, okay, I want to say a heads up, like, just, again, yeah, God, I've said heads up, like, five times. But just, just put it on the table. I adore the casting. I think they're all perfect. Like, I know some people don't. I love it. Like, I don't think there could be anything perfecter. Um, per is that a word? See, this is exactly my point. I'm not good with words. But, um, I mean, if you... I've loved Josh forever, ever. Um, I love Zathura, not just because of Kristen Stewart. I honestly don't like Kristen Stewart. And um, I like Twilight, I just don't not really big on the movies after, you know, after seeing the potential. And I've got to say, after reading The Hunger Games, I kind of, I feel so bad, though, but I kind of lost some of my love for Twilight because it's such a good, really well-written book, and I never understood how well a book could be written. And it's the only series I could never predict. Like, I could, I, duh, I could predict Twilight because it's pretty predictable. I mean, we all know that they're going to end up together because there is no possible way that they would take them away from each other. But in this one, I there's always that question that, you know, not only who is she going to end up with, but who's going to be alive for her to, um, you know, end up with. Is she going to die? Because it, Suzanne actually kind of seems like the person that would kill the first, the main character. There is a possibility. I mean, there's. I actually am writing a story where the, the first character actually dies. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but um, it's a possibility that people usually forget because they think, oh, she's not going to die because she's the main character. They can't do that. But towards at the end, it's possible. And you can just change the um, you know point of view. So and she seems like the kind of character that would, I mean, the author that would risk, be so risky and be able to do that. So that whole series, I didn't even know who would be alive. Who would, like, I didn't know she killed so many people. But um, I, heard, I, I actually kept forgetting that Rue was dead and who all died from the beginning towards the end. Because, like, I, you know, I, there's so much loss. And I think the movies, I'm going to be the movies are going to kill me, like, I, it, it's so emotional in the books, but having to see it, like, I'll be that person in the middle of the row just <laughs> sobbing, it, it's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to handle it, and I'm also screaming, <laughs> and so I can't take anything bodily or, you know, like, fluids or blood or anything, um, like, in Limitless, if you've seen it, they, um, he, he's, uh, there's this one scene and if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about with this blood. And he kind of goes vampire on it. And 
I, I almost hurled. Like, I'm not even kidding. I almost left the theater because I couldn't take it. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I really don't know because I think people forget that in the books, like, sir, it's just words. But, I mean, I'm happy with the PG-13. I don't want it that well, so I'm happy with it. And some people want to be R, so it's more visual. Like, sure, you need that visual, but, I mean, come on, people. The PG-13 is really visual now. And um, there's a lot of difference. Like, it's weird. Um, R is now is just nudity, really. So I think I'm fine with PG-13, and people are just overreacting. But, I mean, I don't know, because I, I think, I think... I think one of the people said that they're going full out, and they're showing everything, but I don't know. I forgot. I I check the fan sites every single day, so I don't remember. I actually get kind of lost, but anyways, I don't exactly know how I'm going to react to it, but um, after... <laughs> I keep getting off task. I'm sorry. I have a lot of things, and I'm still reacting to it because I just finished Mockingjay last night. And so I'm still reacting to it, and it's still so much in my brain because after you finish every single book, you, I literally am speechless, and I just want to scream because I don't even know what to feel. And it's like, what do I feel? Like, should I be happy? Should I be sad? Should I freak out? Like, I don't even know. And I always just, like, on Tumblr, if you know, I literally just do random num like keys because that's my words that's how I feel because I don't have any words I don't even know how to describe it and I, I warned my cousin that and I wonder if she'll take my advice about that but um with the mock with the hunger games um after she goes into the arena I actually liked it when she was like lone soldier there and she was all by herself um, I think people needed to see that, that she was, she's a very independent person. She can take care of herself, but though she doesn't really like being lonely, but she can if she needs to. And I think it was really good. Um, I was pissed at PETA when, with the, you know, um, careers. I was really pissed. Like, I was like, how dare you? Um, I actually thought that PETA would turn on her through the whole thing. Um, I know he... I, I know the reason why he did that now, but I always thought that Peta was bad for because, like I said, I didn't really think much about her, and I was confused and I was so excited about him, you know, admitting his love, and then I found out it was like thought like fake, and I got all angry and I was so mad and I was like ah, oh. and I was actually outside like walking around my pool because I walk when I read because I might as well like exercise because I have so much emotion I actually go really fast and I can. Uh, I go to the gym and read too, and if I lose myself when I'm working out, then it's easier because I have asthma, so it's harder for me to run and stuff. So I run to it because, I mean, it's so much. It makes me so pissed at some parts that I can just, yeah, it's really awesome. So I was outside. I actually burnt my feet, and um, because if you know from, if you live in the south in the summer, you know that you cannot walk on concrete for very long, and I was stupid, and I still have the burn on my foot, but, um, I, cause I could, kept going around and around, because I was so, like, freaked out, like, I was like, oh my god, I was so excited, cause I'm a hopeless romantic, and that's why I like Twilight, honestly, so, cause I wish it was sort of real, I mean, what? I didn't say anything, but, um, <laughs> that that's not the only reason I like this, but, and I'm actually really pissed at the media for actually trying to make it that love triangle because we've got Twilight. We don't need that. And there's so much more to this that it just makes me so mad. I can't even explain my words for how mad it gets me. And it shouldn't be, you know, a whole love triangle because that's not what it is. It's a, it's about, you know, independency, um, having a voice, being able to be the change in the world, um, standing up for what you believe in, helping others, hunger, um, society issues, uh, you know, how crazy people are when they're all they're worrying about is their fashions and their events and how selfish we actually are when there's people in some places in the world that's suffering from hunger and that we should be helping instead. I'm, I appreciate my food so much more. And um, whenever, like, especially... Like, whenever we I go out to eat, I always think, um, oh, Katniss would really enjoy this, and, you know, that kind of thing. And um, 
as sickening as this is, there are actually places in the world where kids are fighting for food. And it's, I don't think people really grasp that, but it's true. And I think she, you know, it, Suzanne opens all of our eyes to how much the world really is to this fictional place of Panna. And I think, honestly, that there could possibly be something in the future that something because you know we always like there's a rush the recession and there's always big problems and people are too focused on political and instead of you know teams and I that's why I hate Republican and Democrat like I'm sh you know we all need our different views but instead of fighting against one and each other during political things I think instead of trying to be focused on that power maybe we should unite together sorry it fell <laughs> Um, I think we should focus together to make this place a better place because, you know, someday is just going to be all about power and this could happen. And it sucks. And I don't think any time when I'm living, but um, it's possible, you know, and I think it's, it's great that she did that. I always think that when the movies are going to come out, that something different is going to happen in the world and people will open up and I think really deeply though so I don't know if everyone else is going to catch on to that whole like thing and all those hidden themes because there are literally like 500 different themes and um, my favorite is the society and like the capital like the capital is us and I don't know if everyone realizes that but the capital is us we're the ones like fashion like going shopping which I'm guilty as charged if you've looked at my tumblr I adore fashion and but not because of that whole you know standing in society thing like some other people do I actually like it because it expresses myself and um, I just like that kind of stuff and I'm I have a, I'm a very artistic and creative person so I like that kind of stuff and um, but you know I do admit I worry too much on the fashion and going out and traveling and you know social events when I could help more than I do and it I now know and you know I want to help out more so if any you know opportunities I'm definitely going to now and um, we are the capital and I don't know if people I don't think everyone thinks that through but especially in Mockingjay when they're all running for their lives instead of really helping you know thinking like all they're focused on is themselves and I get it because you know it was a really big part and there's so much dying going on and you know you gotta kinda help and your family out and stuff but still there was just no one really cared about anything like even when snow was dead they didn't care they didn't care if coin was dead or who the president was or who the person was they, all they cared about was themselves and we all kind of do that at some point or another and it helped me realize that more and um it helped, I think it will help the political thing, because I really do hate the whole Democratic and Republic thing. I've already decided when I'm 18 and I can vote, I honestly am not going to vote, because I'm not interested in that kind of stuff. I honestly don't believe that the voting in the USA, like, I'm sure I'm wrong, I understand. My uncle once worked for the government, though, like, not now, he... He's not right now, but he did earlier this year and stuff. But I honestly don't think that um, our, you know, voting is completely the people because there's still those votes from the senators that honestly overrule ours. And um, I, I don't, I just think that I should have, I'm in a place that's relatively Republican too. And I'm not saying I'm democratic. I don't but go by that I go by the person and um, but I don't even care honestly because I don't think my voice is really gonna be that much except for in other ways that's why I write and stuff but I don't care <laughs> to put it the least I really don't care because whoever the leader is and honestly the leader the president sure he has got the overall pr approval but he's not the only one and people blame like everything on Obama and um, I'm not saying I don't know what's going on there, but people forget that there is a lot of other people behind him. And it's not just him, you know, and it's not just Republicans. It's not just Democrats. 
it's, you know, it's not just one person. It's, and people forget that. And, um, that's why I hate those whole putting it into categories and stuff. And I just think of, instead of focusing on groups like the Capitol and the Rebels and that kind of thing, maybe we should focus, like Peter said, on just keeping us all alive. Because I think we're all struggling from just that as it is in the world. And, you know, Put aside those differences. I know some people here that will literally not talk to people if they're not Republican. And it's like, really? You're going to miss out on friendships and stuff just because of what they believe? And it just puts that whole arc, you know, our, everyone, you know, tries to defend themselves that the cap, like, not the capital, sorry, I got lost there, that um, it's a free country, we all have our rights, then why do people get pissed at people when they say what they believe in? And same with Tumblr and stuff. And um, most people, that at least the people I talk to, don't do that. But I've seen it happen where people get pissed because they like Gail and they like PETA. And it's like, you know, we all have our own opinions. And, um, you know, and same with school and everything. And I think this book kind of showed that happening too. Someone just came home. Okay, but anyways... Um, it kind of, I think it will help people open their eyes that everyone has a voice and we're allowed to use it, so, and fight for what we believe in. And children are the future of tomorrow, so we should not be sparing them in hurtful things like that. And there's child abuse and, uh, there's, it's more real than people really realize. And I always thought it was just like completely made up, like that would never happen. I thought it was just so violent when I heard about the whole plot and stuff. But there's more to it than just that, and because I just thought it was just games, you know. I didn't understand it. I pictured a really gray world when I first heard about it, and there's so much color to it, and um, it's astonishing. And um, there's so much to it. Okay, I'm gonna make another part. I'm sorry, but there's just so much I want to talk about. Okay, next part.